Hello, everyone. I'm going to talk about content standards. Uh, I never thought that would be one of my favorite subjects, but it actually has turned out to be. <laughs> um, uh, as many of you know, um, we aligned, uh, we did an alignment of our reading and math content standards to the Common Core standards back in 2010. We wanted to see how close they were, and we found out we, we had some folks from Questar who were very familiar with the Common Core do it, and they thought that the alignment was pretty strong. But then when the um, Octa uh, CCR for Adult Ed standards came out in, uh, last year, April of 2013, we thought we'd better take another look and see how they now related, how our standards related to those uh, standards for Adult Ed. And again, we had uh, Sheila and Mike do it, and they said, yes, very good. Uh, but in a minute, I'm going to tell you, we're actually taking it a step further with reading. But uh, So there already was a strong alignment uh, between our standards and those standards. Um, just to mention, too, that uh, we did a similar process for the NADP. And um, actually, when we were developing, developing the NADP competencies, we had an opportunity to uh, integrate the Common Core and the CCR standards with them as part of the development. So really it wasn't at all, let's see how they are, let's, we actually made, we made sure that they were in there and they're very strongly incorporated in the NEDP. So, um, in addition to the initial look after, uh, based on the uh, CCR for adult study, we uh, have been working, I've been, have been Good fortune to work with Sylvia Ramirez and Laurie Howard on our staff, and we've been working on making additional revisions to the um, CASAS reading standards uh, in a number of ways. Um, we saw some uh, standards that were in the CCR for adult ed that we didn't have in the reading standards, and we really thought they should be there, so we added some. Uh, we took an opportunity to really look at the categories of our current reading standards and thought, you know, we might be able to make them more streamlined, make them uh, combine some, and make it um, an, a more user-friendly document. Uh, we combine some categories, we, we combine some standards. So um, we are still in the process of working on that. Uh, we also looked at the liter literary analysis category. I don't know how many of you use those reading standards, but um, it was, there were a lot of standards in there, and it was really giving a wrong message that they were uh, very important. We know that they're somewhat important, but as, as you may know with the CCR for adult ed, they're only a little bit important for adult ed. So we pretty drastically shortened those. Um, and we also had the opportunity to make other changes. So that's something that uh, we'll be getting back to you soon on. We're, we've got a focus group going on Thursday morning here at the Summer Institute. Uh, to get some input on where we are with those uh, revisions. And then we hope to finish them this summer, and we'll be offering a webinar <laughs> to keep you up to date on those changes. Essentially, many, most of the standards are still there, and plus we've added some. So it's, it is, it's going to look different, but it really still has the essence of the current reading content standards. So, uh, and, and I want to say, too, that what we realized in doing it was that there honestly are some gaps in the CCR for adult ed standards that we felt we, you know, we have in our standards and needed to be there. So um, stay tuned and you'll, you'll see more details about that. But I think you'll find it a very um, much more user-friendly document and, and um, very much now up to date with, um, with the CCR for adult ed and with our new reading series. The um, math standards were also aligned uh, in 2010, as we said before, and also again in 2013, and both show a strong alignment to the CCR for adult ed. 